absolutely fantastic. Shin Chan's favorite giant robot is here to save the day. First, let's crack this bad boy open. Blitzway Carbotics Contom Robo. Blitzway has done a fantastic job bringing to life Contom Robo under their Carbotics line with a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, great accessories, and full range of articulation. Before we find out how fantastic Contom Robo is, give this video a like, share, subscribe, and shop. HLJ. Kanton Robo stands roughly 7 inches tall and looks great next to our mid sized Chagokin figures from various lines. The scale checks out. Now let's see how well Kanton Robo can move. Starting with the head, we can look up, down, left, right. The neck is on a very nice ball joint, so we can move the head pretty much all over the place. Now when moving the head, you don't want to get too carried away because you don't want this plastic bumping into this metal and thus causing scuffing, but still, this is cool. The arms have a great range of movement. We can rotate the arms a full 360 degrees. The arms can come up higher than 90 degrees. We have single jointed elbows. They go up a little bit high, but this is pretty good. We have a swivel in the elbows. The fists are on ball joints, we can tilt and spin them freely. Now when moving the upper chest, you need to be somewhat careful or else. Check this out. Yep, I actually broke my first Contom Robo figure. By overextending the upper chest and shattering the socket that connects the upper chest to the waist. So in the upper chest, we can lean forward this much, backward this much and cannot move side to side much at all. In the waist, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side, and lean side to side. Now again, just be careful and mindful when moving the upper chest. Moving down to the legs, to get the full range of motion in the legs, we can pull down and forward, releasing the entire hip joint, so we can kick forward this much, Backward this much, can we side this much. We have a thigh swivel. We have very nice solid single jointed knees. And then finally we have our massive large feet that can tilt and swivel all over the place. Kanton Robo has a surprisingly solid and hefty feel to him thanks to his internal and external die cast parts. Weighing in at just under one pound of pure Gokin awesomeness. When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, Contom Robo is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have the angular, cylindrical green head sculpt with lighter green riveted panels, various panel lines, and orange accents on the sides of the head. The eyes have a simple large triangular sculpt, the mouth has a multi-paneled metallic silver sculpt, the chest has a bulky robotic sculpt with panel lines, rivets, and orange vents. The abs have a coiled metallic silver sculpt with rivets going down the sides. The shoulders have a two-tone armored sculpt with metallic silver accents in the center. The arms have a nice sculpt with metallic silver biceps and detailed forearms with metallic silver and orange accents. The jetpack has an angular sculpt with rivets on the wings, two-tone panels on the thrusters, and metallic silver accents. The legs have a nice robotic scope with various panels, accents, and rivets. I really like all the variation here in the sculpt and panels on this figure. I just think it's really cool. The feet have a massive rectangular two-tone armored sculpt. Even the underside of the feet have a nice gunmetal sculpt. 
For accessories, first up we have our two pairs of hands. We have a pair of open hands. And we have a pair of holding hands designed to hold the wings so we can throw out our Contom Boomerang. Next, we have our Canton Punch effect parts with a fantastic explosive sculpt. We have a nice gray smoke trail that transitions to a translucent gradated burning orange explosion. The effect parts easily plug into the biceps and the forearms easily plug into the effect part. Finally, we have our tiny acrylic Shin Chan figures in various poses. These are nice, but I don't really like these tiny supplemental figures. I just feel like they're just dying to get lost, but I appreciate them. We can easily place these in the head. Now, let's do some city building. As a whole, Contom Robo turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is well done, the paintups are clean, we have plenty of die cast, great accessories, and Contom Robo is fully posable. I really love this figure. Blitzway did an excellent job taking a unique robot and turning it into a very nice piece of Goken. I absolutely recommend picking up this figure. Now, how much does Contom Robo cost? I imported my Blitzway Carbotics Contom Robo for $82, which is totally worth it. To learn more about the buildings I use in my reviews or see more Blitzway reviews, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media, definitely follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys in the next review.